All right, so now I'm over 48 hours, just a little bit over 48 hours into my drive fast. I just parked in a store to, that light is killing me, to make this video before it gets dark. Um, I'm doing really well. I'm really tired now, but just because I've been driving all day and yesterday all day and it's been a very long drive. I think I still have, so it was 3000 miles. That's what's gonna be like the total drive, I think. Over 3,000. Um, I don't even know how much I have left. I don't even know if I wanna look. But, uh, so I'm tired because my lower back is bothering me a little bit. My ass hurts, but I'm okay. And it was tough because the last three rest areas were closed. So I was hoping like, okay, finally I can stop. And then I wasn't able to. And so it's been a lot of driving without stopping now at the end. Um, but some tips that I want to give you is that first I believe environment is huge so always have water and whatever else you decide to break your dry fast with whether that's coconut water fruit juices vegetable juices that you make at home or that you get somewhere else have that with you but at the same time don't be somewhere where you're just like staring at that all day. Like if I'm just staring at a bowl of fruit or at a juice that I'm going to break my fast with, if if I have that with me all day next to me, that's going to be tough. And cuz I was I was laughing at, during my drive, I saw some of the most beautiful lakes I've ever seen. And I just wanted to just like jump in the water and just swim with my mouth open like a ah, fucking crazy like they were gorgeous like the water was so blue and beautiful and it was amazing 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 um so i was thinking like it would be tough if you actually have because to be honest I'm, I'm, another point that i wanted to make i'm gonna be honest i would love to break the fast just being honest with you just being honest um but there's a difference between a desire to eat and a need to eat. I don't need to eat right now. I feel fine. I just have a desire for drinks and food. So if, if I'm strong enough to differentiate between the desire and a need, then I can definitely keep going. And the other reason why I have the desire, which is another point that I wanted to make about dry fasting, is that dry fasting is a very... It's not only a physical experience and a physical challenge, but it's also a mental, emotional, spiritual experience and challenge. And of course, when we have long drives, I believe many of us want snacks and food and drinks and coffee or tea or whatever and whatever kind of drinks you like and we use things like music i listen to comedy sometimes we, we might call friends and family and listen to podcasts or youtube videos or whatever and for many reasons which i'll probably make another video about i have been driving so for two and a half days kind of zero music zero anything zero distractions kind of um only made a couple calls that i needed to make but i just been like with myself like with my own thoughts with my own feelings i enjoy that many times it's not always easy to be able to do that and I just came from a retreat, which I'll definitely make more videos about that, goes very deep into emotional healing. And I want to kind of continue that, I want to continue that. Uh, many of you might not even know, but I do Reiki and I love energy healing and I can do that on myself. So it's been a very, very incredible, fascinating experience to do that throughout this entire drive. Um, I'll, I can talk more about that if you're interested, but I'll leave it at that for now. But 
it is a remember that it is a physical mental emotional spiritual experience and challenge so whatever you need to do to get the benefits that you want to get out of the experience whatever you need to do to to maximize your benefits if that's what you're looking for do that just honor that honor whatever you need honor whatever you need and to go back to that desire versus need like i know just to give you some tips if you're thinking of doing that like i know that as long as i can fall asleep today there's i'll obviously be able to keep going tomorrow morning i don't know how i'll wake up if i wake up and i know like i need to finish to end this fast i will i will so the other point that I wanted to make is that don't, I just invite you, to, I'm not telling you what to do, but I just invite you to consider the idea of not putting your fasting ego before your body's needs and your body's health. We want, of course we want to do that. Of course I want to do a really long fast and of course I want that. But if my body can't handle that right now, then I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So I just invite you to just put your fasting ego aside and just really listen to your body and honor what your body needs. And what I might do is I'll see how I feel tomorrow. If I need to break it, I'll just continue with a water fast as long as I can. It would be really cool if I can take advantage of these like five days of driving it's probably gonna be five or yeah five six days who knows um, and just fast as much as I can that'll be perfect for me right now perfect perfect so we'll see make sure you tune in tomorrow uh, so I can let you know what's going on if I keep going with the dry fast if I turn it into a water fast or whatever the hell happens so hope this helps I gotta go find a place to sleep which I'm close to but I'll be back tomorrow have a beautiful night